it's unbelievable how such little in someone's eyes can mean so much to someone. This was once a tent Joshua Bell called home. Now his personal items, burned beyond repair, are left behind following a propane explosion Tuesday. It's unbelievable how fast the, these tents go up and like we're just trying to stay warm. Like it's, a, it's not easy to take care of each other and take care of yourselves. We just try to stick together and do what we can for each other. This has become a grim reality as Edmonton's homeless population is doing everything they can to stay warm this winter, which Edmonton's fire chief says has dangerous consequences. You know, these can often include uh, propane bottles, um, different types of material being uh, burnt, difficulties accessing and egressing these locations. Edmonton Fire Rescue Services says they have responded to 65 fire calls at encampments this year, five of which resulted in fatalities. We know people need to stay warm. You know, they need to they need light to see and, and, and be safe. On Wednesday, city councillors voted to reduce taxpayer dollars for enforcement at encampments, but will continue to fund the cleanup of the sites. Edmonton's Mayor Amarjeet Sohi saying he sees housing as a provincial responsibility and wants to see action. Uh, enforcement just displaces people. You know, you uh, uh, force people from one encampment and next hour they have to set up another encampment in the next neighborhood. So it's not really helping. Enforcement is not really being effective. More than 800 people are currently living in encampments, according to data by Homeward Trust. And with the winter season ahead, they're doing what they can to survive. There's a lot of things against us out here. We want to quit every day. We can't. And that's after struggle. Edmonton's fire chief says fatal encampment fires is a top concern going into 2023 and is hopeful that engaging with the community with other frontline partners through the new Healthy Streets Operations Centre will address the issues associated with homelessness. Edmonton police say one officer was injured in responding to this tent fire. For Bell, he says he's going to continue fighting for his daughter. It can't happen to anybody, anytime. I didn't ask for it. I didn't expect it. In Edmonton, Laura Krause, City News.